I can see perfectly. Ah, Assassin's Creed. You know, when it came out, it was a sort of new and slightly off-the-wall type thing, and we were all quite excited, and even more excited when Assassin's Creed 2 came out and they remembered to put a game in it. But then, kind of, it became a yearly thing, didn't it? Like bloody FIFA or something. What have we had now? Uh, Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Revelations, um, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, then there was uh, the Assassin's Creed 5 Syndicate coming, isn't there? Um, there was Assassin's Creed Unity, that was one, Assassin's Creed Rogue, um, there was one, maybe even two for the Vita Liberation or something, I don't even know, there's hundreds of the bloody things. But hey, how else will we get through the amazing story of that bloke in the future who is sitting in a chair doing memory stuff. Oh wait, even the people who wrote the game got bored of it and changed it. Anyway, now we can apparently play it with small pieces, and by now I mean probably for some time, because I imagine these are quite old, with Assassin's Creed Brotherhood blind bag game piece thing. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I was expecting these to be of like super quality, because Ubisoft stuff um, statue-wise is usually pretty good, uh, to the extent that when I do on occasion the video game collectible videos, um, the, it's always slightly embarrassing, because the Ubisoft stuff is generally a lot better than all the other companies. But picking these up to film them, I discovered that apparently these are either extremely small or not of the greatest... Um, yeah, well, let's... good god. Let's not even bother describing that. I'm just going to check the old, uh, yeah, blowtorch is good. That's ready. Good, good, good. Right, we've also got one for Revelations, the game nobody liked. Um, yeah, you see, what they've done there is found an alien and tried to make him look human with makeup, and it hasn't quite worked. Well, let's hope they're better on the inside than they look on the outside. Let's go Brotherhood first. I think they came first chronologically. I don't really know. I can't remember anymore. Um, oh my goodness. This is Octavian de Valios, a politician and a soldier. And something you don't get together in real life anymore. Well, very rarely, anyway. Um, right, yep, we've got this sort of spinny game piece thing going on. Yep, look, you can spin it around and it says, Co, 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 co. <laughs> That's like laughter in a foreign language. And, yeah, there's some numbers and stuff. And if you like this game, then... Frankly, where have you been hiding it? Because I've never even heard of it. Uh, the... yeah. Yeah. See, the paint has sort of been fired on from across a room by somebody spitting at it, I think. Um, well, he's got very posh armour, I'll give him that, but he looks kind of like Basil Faulty after he's had his face smashed in with a big mallet. You stand there, mate. Good God, look how tiny it is for distance. I might have to use the zoom. And... For revelations we have... Ooh, who is this? This is Yusuf Tazim, an assassin. He is a bomb master, which means he is no longer available to fly on any internal flight. I don't know why I specified external. It's like they really enjoy people who like bombs on bloody planes that travel overseas. Right. That's... Well, it's noticeably better than the other one. Um, his hood looks a little bit large, like he's hiding something massive under it, like he's got horns, or a sort of giant mohawk, or a little creature living on the back of his head, like Lord Voldemort or something. Hmm. Yeah, again, not entirely convinced by that. He's got a very high-up little quiver full of little bolts for a little crossbow. Basically, the word little is coming into play quite a lot. Let's zoom in on them. Oh, God, I think they have to go down a bit. That's how small they are. There we are. Look at that. Director of Photography, Wally Fister. OK, you sit there like that, and I shall apply some heat, which is my judgement on you. For, frankly, you are not pleasing to the eye, the ear, the nose, or probably the mouth, but I'm not going to taste them. Oh no, we've lost sync, or whatever it was. Tell you what, your armour didn't save you from that, did it, old boy? I hope one of these isn't super rare and worth a million pounds. <laughs> Sorry, I said that as if it was serious. Well, I think we can successfully say that these ones will not be returning in the franchise.